Well, it was a great morning to honor those who fought for our freedom. The Denver Veterans Day Parade wound around Civic Center Park today, and our Michael Abeda was there. Michael, how big was the crowd today? Well, Kathy, sadly, this isn't the most popular event that takes place in downtown Denver, so the crowds were modest, but the people that did come, they were full of heart. This is Joe Gibson, born and raised in Louisiana, in New Orleans. But he calls Colorado home. Saturday, he came to downtown Denver to watch the Veterans Day parade because he himself is a veteran. I served in the United States Army, come back infantry, two years, ten days in Germany, and we do it all over again for this wonderful country. And this isn't his first time here. He's been coming for many years. Because I owe that. And I want to see how good folks do this, and I've been out here every year. He was even here the years when attendance was meager. Standing watch over the motorcycles, ROTC groups, and marching bands. Maybe it was the beautiful Colorado weather, but today there were a lot of people out. He's glad to see attendance up, and he hopes people will keep coming to support the men and women in uniform. Because without a, a good military, any country is in trouble. And as for him, well, it's going to take a lot to keep this Korean War vet from attending year after year. I'd be here if I had to crawl down here. I would be here. That's a wonderful country. I'll do it all over again. Well, every day is a good day to thank a veteran or service member for their service. But if you'd like to do it with a couple hundred of your closest friends, well, there's always next year. I'm sure Joe would love to see you out here. In Denver, Michael Aveta covering Colorado first. Thank you, Michael. And we thank Joe and all the veterans for their service.